with any incident, we have a, a, an umbrella plan of, of who will respond and what we will activate um, depending on the incident itself. So um, again, people should be prepared by you know, um, keeping informed, getting the knowledge. They should also be prepared with the, the basic stuff, so whether you store extra water, whether you store um, um, non-perishable goods in the event that you would be shut down for a while. You need to be prepared um, to have everything you need in your home if you couldn't get out as well as think ahead if I, if I want to lose power where can I go? Is there a friend? Is there a neighbor I can go to who has power? Um, and I could stay there. So if, if you're without your refrigerator, if you're without heat, um, you should have a plan in place the same as we do in every school in town doing a fire drill. Quite often when people lose power, it's, it's just they're losing power because of the storm taking down a tree. With these wind storms, with snow storms, um, kind of evaluate your own personal situation. See if you have a lot of trees around your wires. See if you have older trees in your house. And that's something you should do year round to kind of prepare trim, um, trim trees, trim bushes so that, that wires aren't taking down. You know that you have flooding problems. Try to remediate it yourself. You know, either solve the problem or be prepared and go out and buy yourself a pump. If you get a couple of inches of water in your basement, you can probably get away with a Home Depot, you know, a residential pump that hooks up to a garden hose. Have it in your house. Those don't even cost $100. Um, have it in your house. You start to get water. You put it in. You could probably stay ahead of it. If you get a large amount of water uh, into a couple of feet, um, you may need a more of an industrial pump um, with a larger hose line. But again, if you have that and you start to get water in your basement, you can probably stay ahead of it. I think we deal more with, with issue, issues in the winter. And so what, what do you do? Um, same thing. Everybody rushes up to the town yard to fill up their five-gallon bucket with salt and sand before that big snowstorm comes. You know this time of year you're going to need it. Go up and get it ahead of time. And then that also helps with DPW so that it's there, it's out, and they're not sitting there trying to fill it, fill it, fill it, and, you know, people will have it. So just a little bit of thinking ahead. During Emergency Preparedness Month, thinking ahead can mean setting up your emergency kit according to FEMA guidelines. The guidelines recommend one gallon of water per person per day for three days, non-perishable food items, and a can opener. A crank or battery operated radio, flashlight with working batteries, candles and matches in a waterproof container. Put aside enough prescription medication to last two weeks. Add a first aid kit and personal hygiene items. Include copies of important information and family documents. Keep extra cash on hand. Pack bleach for sanitizing and cleansing water if necessary. And have sleeping bags or blankets handy in case the heat goes out.